Hi, I'm Larry Routley. I am a test technician here at Entercon, working in here in the test bay. Today we're going to be working on a standard breaker pan, giving you a rough idea of what we do, how we do it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the first things that we do when we get a breaker can in like this is we have an energy reduction mode switch. So we're going to test this, make sure that it puts the breaker into the test mode and actually turns on this light. After that, I will double check and make sure that the breaker itself opens and closes and it has a series of contacts on it that come out to our terminal board. I will use a multimeter on this and I will double check and make sure that these actually close and then open back up when the breaker is open and closed. It also has a uh, interface set up so that it will electronically open and close. What I will do is I'll jump for those and make sure that it closes and opens both in a manual position and an automatic position. After that, pretty much the front of the machine is already taken care of. So next we'll move to the back. And here in the back we have our bus work. Now this is what transports the electricity to the cables that go in and out. Inside the breaker, when it gets a certain amount of amperage, it'll trip. So what I'll do is I'll use a machine and I will hook up each one of these with that amperage machine and I will double check and make sure that that breaker will actually trip at the settings that it is set for. That way, when it gets out to the field, we know that it's going to work correctly. After that, I will hook up a high pot machine and double check and make sure that these are not interconnected and we do not have uh, a short between any of our phases or our neutrals inside or outside of the breaker. And after that, we package it up and ship it out the door.